Wendy Gelbert and welcome to Doors and Windows in Watercolours. We are doing a beautiful French barn with a window and door combined. As you can see, I've used my tracing paper to transfer the image to my watercolour paper. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the masking fluid first to get the lights on some of the foliage. These are vines, so they've got a, a main stalk and the leaves coming off them. I'll clean the edge again so we don't get any blobs. The edges of the barn door, which are lovely curved feature here. And as you can see, I've added a cockerel and a chicken, just for some interest. And it usually forms a lovely focal point. And big feet there, securing it to the top of the door frame. There's also, there's some chicken wire that needs to be drawn in. You need to do this fairly carefully. Because it needs to look like chicken wire. So it follows the structure. Complete this side. And the hinge and the edge of the door here. Put a few grasses. And I think that completes that. Right, the next stage is placing on the texture paste with my palette knife onto the areas where I need it to be weathered and old on the walls. So I'm putting that on this structure and put some down here. You can get all different varieties, but this one's slightly sandy. And we can put some on the foreground for stones and broken up concrete. And it also drags, if you drag it over the surface, it gives a kind of dried brush effect. It pulls over the bobbles of the paper, the character of the paper. Right, we'll leave that one to dry. Right, and now we're going to do the background colour of yellow ochre, burnt sienna and grey. I'm putting this in quite quickly over the texture paste. Look at the lovely patterns the texture paste makes. Yeah, round we go there. Lifting a small area for the greenery. Splodge of grey there. A bit of green on there. There we go. So it's a mixture of grey, a little bit of green, burnt sienna and yellow ochre. Up to the edge of the barn door. around the vine shapes. There we go. Dropping a bit of burnt sienna in there. This works beautifully against the greenery. So hopefully we'll get that kind of ageing effect. And I'll put some splattering on in a minute. Put this yellow ochre there. So it's quite colourful, the stonework. to the ground. Little bits of green gungy bits in there, like lichen or verdigris or something like that. So we're going to put the leaves in next, a yellowy green with a touch of olive green in it. Put these over the yellow 
adds a bit of warmth to it. And then into the spaces I've already left. It doesn't matter again if it runs. Let it run a bit. Yellowy green. So it's kind of a massed shape, but also there'll be separate leaves in a minute too when I put the background in. On the other side, yellowy green, a few separated leaves and a massed shape. It gives a more convincing look if you do that. So we've got some shadowy colours, perhaps a little bit of blue with it. Round we go. Bit more green. See, it's running a bit into the background, and that doesn't matter. In fact, it's better if that happens. It's more beautiful watercolour is when it oozes into other layers and, and washes. Maybe I've got some blue in there. Now I'm going to get some dark and I'm going to put some deliberate dark sh shapes right in behind these leaves. Makes it more dramatic and around the leaves. There we go. So it defines some of the edges and gives depth and form to the others. You can't keep painting each leaf separately, otherwise you'll be here forever. Putting those in there. There we go. Round hair and quite, quite strong colours as it goes towards the ground. A little bit more in here. A lot of these French barns and houses have got vines all over them. Such a lovely contrast to the stonework behind them. Now I'm going to do the structure which has got burnt sienna and yellow ochre and I'm going to put that, that's the reveal of the barn door. Let's so put something in there. And another shape here. There, down it comes. And some lines of the brickwork. There we go. And perhaps a few here just defining a few of the big slabs. 